Let's talk about what you are forecasting and how the billions of dollars that you've been plowing into network capacity uh, are going to kick in and pay off this holiday season. We are well prepared this year for peak. We have been planning on it all year. We have added over 42 buildings, automated buildings over the last two years. And we now have the capability to handle more than 800,000 packages an hour, more than we could two years ago. So we are ready uh, for, uh, to take care of our customers' needs. 5% increase uh, in deliveries between the day after Thanksgiving and December 30th. E-commerce continues to be a secular growth story. How much of that increase in volumes is tied to just the long-standing shift we've seen versus health of the economy right now? Well, e-commerce certainly has a big effect, and the uh, U.S. economy is doing very well. The 5% is 5% more than last year. But when you compare to our average daily volume, we are actually going to be 60% over our average daily volume of 20 million. We will deliver an average of 32 million packages a day, every day between Thanksgiving and Christmas. David, we, we had a reporter join us yesterday from the Center for Investigative Reporting talking about uh, his investigation into Amazon's warehouse practices. One of his conclusions uh, was that adding robots might not make warehouse work for humans safer. H have you found a connection between automation in your facilities and whether it's safer or not for workers? Well, safety is absolutely the most important thing that we focus on. And we do see that the latest technology that we can enable our people to be even more effective. So first you look at the safety, then you look at the efficiency and the service we can provide our customers. So, David, the last time we spoke, you were announcing Flight Forward, which is UPS's drone airline. How many drone deliveries are you now doing? We have really led the way in this area. In fact, our uh, drone delivery service, our commercial service to healthcare uh, facilities, we've already made over 1,800 uh, deliveries, and, uh, and we're doing it on a daily basis. And we've also tested delivering uh, pharmaceuticals actually to residents, to people's houses. So. We're making a lot of progress, have some real good partners in this area. We're real excited about it. When am I going to get some of those uh, packages that I, that I buy for my holiday shopping delivered to my doorstep? Well, you will get it delivered to your doorstep today and uh, every other day. But, but from a drone standpoint, we're yeah. still probably another year or so away before the regulations get completely written. But, uh, but that will be a reality at some point. But it will be a compliment. It will be really more focused on urgent deliveries. We still see a very important role for our UPS driver at the same time. Shifting gears a little bit, U.S.-China trade in focus, as always, it would seem. Are businesses pulling forward shipments ahead of that, at least for now, uh, set to kick in mid-December tariff? Well, I think the, the business climate right now is a little bit more positive. People are, uh, are hearing better things, and they are hopeful. I do know that many of our customers are making contingency plans. Many have looked to tra uh, change their trade flows. But I really think the last couple of days has shown encouragement, and we urge both the leaders in China and the U.S., to work out a win-win uh, solution that would uh, benefit all uh, businesses and all consumers. So we're, we're more encouraged than we have been. David, how do you expect that good economy, particularly in the U.S., to impact the trajectory of holiday spending? Are, are people going to be doing more uh, impulse buying, perhaps, toward the tail end of the season, uh, buying for themselves more? Do you expect uh, to see more action toward the back end of the holiday season than you might in another year? 
Well, the advice we'd want to give your viewers is to shop early, shop often, and ship UPS. And uh, <laughs> there, are, there are fewer days between uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But you'll see that many of the retailers have already started their promotions. Officially, Pete starts for us the Friday after Thanksgiving, but it's already here. So people are already shopping, and we'd want to encourage them the sooner the better as far as we're concerned. David, your name came up last week in the midst of all this New York Times FedEx tax back and forth since you penned an op-ed about tax reform with Fred Smith before we actually saw uh, that bill get passed through Congress. Given the debate right now about whether tax reform has actually worked, full expensing, what that's meant for investments here in the U.S., uh, how would you weigh in on this broader debate right now? Well, I think tax reform has worked, and I think it's one of the reasons the economy is doing as well as it is. Back in December of 2017, we said we would invest over $12 billion into CalPAX capital expenditures and into our pension plans, and we have absolutely done what we've said. We have increased our CalPAX uh, tremendously over $13 billion over the last two years. And we're in the second year of a $22 billion uh, re-upping of our CapEx. So we've done exactly what we've said. We've seen the gains, and, uh, and we think it is working, and we're fully supportive. 